Hey guys, it's Heshkina, and I'm coming on here to share real quick um, just something that's on my heart, and it's been on my heart for a while now, but I felt the need to make a video and share about it. Um, as you can see from the title, it's not about the gifts, and it's not about the label. Um... I noticed that people get caught up in stuff like that. I even myself am guilty of getting, having gotten caught up in stuff like that. Um, the beginning of my journey with the Lord and all the things he was giving to me and revealing to me. Um, I was just so excited and it's... It's sad how us humans can shift our focus so easily to where we think our focus is on God, but our focus could be on what God's giving us or just, you know, labels or things we've been called. <clears throat> but ultimately what matters is the Lord because any gift that he gives like yeah it's great but you wouldn't have it without him and labels labels don't really mean as much as you think so God is creator he is above everyone no one is above him we know this but when the Lord exalts us it's a gift and it's a beautiful humbling thing and that's exactly how it should be is humbling and not something how do I say this not something kind of waved around like a flag or you know how they do in military branches where you know just everyone kind of goes up and you stop and you salute the next person that goes up that's not how things are with God uh, man's ways are not his ways and we can tend to to um, paint God out and his ways to be like our ways. And it's amazing how you can just kind of get sucked into it little by little and not even realize it while it's happening. <clears throat> but I'm sharing this because there's people that I see who get really caught up in labels like prophet, prophetess, apostle, um... These, these titles, unless given to you specifically by God, I would not mess around with. But also, they're just titles. They don't make you or anyone else above anyone else. And they can be taken away as swiftly as they were given. The gifts can be taken away as swiftly as they were given. Maybe you you were meant to have those gifts for a season, or maybe those are just your gifts. But um, it's amazing how much glory comes to those labels when glory should be returning to the Lord. And I notice a lot of people kind of get caught in this cloud. They don't even see. Um you know, when speaking about, oh, I think I'm prophetic and I think I might be a prophet and, and, and they think because they're talking about God and the things that God has shown them that they're actually giving glory to God, but they're not, they're putting the focus on themselves and that's just a dangerous place to be in. 
Um, I was speaking with one woman not too long ago who was excited about some dreams she was given. And I get that because I get super excited when I'm given dreams from the Lord. Um, like, I get that. But I remember when something just rubbed my spirit the wrong way in the conversation. When she s started smiling and talking about how she thinks she might be prophetic and she thinks she might, you know, basically be a prophet or something. And I just, there was something about it and I was just like, okay. And in that moment I was like, none of this is about that. Why, why is this even being put in a conversation? Like, the Lord gave you dreams. Great, share them. What are they? Um, let those who can interpret, interpret through the Holy Spirit. Um, but there was something just off about that. And, uh, and it actually made me reflect for a while because... Um, I easily fell into that little thing at one point, just that cloud where I got so excited about, um, different things that the Lord would show me and tell me that when I went to, um, a dry season, when I went to a season without that, I like fell apart at first and, um, and it, took quite a bit to get back and to get to this place where I, with the Lord I was just like Lord you know if you never show me anything again I love you and um <sighs> sorry guys I'm getting over a uh, sinus infection so I keep getting a little uh a little um foggy sometimes my brain also prego brain it's no joke but anyway um I like went to this kind of just this this scary place with it and I realized that I was putting too much focus on what I was being given over the giver so <coughs> if you're struggling with that you're not alone. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. And honestly, any Christian that sits there and, you know, portrays themselves to be so perfect and so, you know, above and beyond experienced and never, uh, you know, shifts their focus, never falls and has to get back up. I don't trust that. And you shouldn't either. Um, I know there's so many like that in the world today, and I just don't get it. Um, I think a lot of them, maybe they just hide those parts, and they only want to be encouraging and think that they're being encouraging by hiding those parts and just showing, like, their best. But I don't agree with that, because there's something about that that almost uh, puts a glory on you as well. Um, that doesn't show that, hey, you're a human, you're a brother and sister like the rest of us. And what are your testimonies? The only way to even have testimonies is to, you know, come out of things, come out of dark things, come out of um, bondages or whatever. And the Lord's glory be shown at the end of that. So uh, just be careful with that. And if you feel convicted that's great. That's somewhere to start. Now you know, you know, where to, what to bring to the Lord the next time you go into prayer. And um, maybe you're realizing, oh my, you know, I might be there in my journey. Um, it's okay. Like I said, uh, it, it was such a beautiful, humbling uh thing for me to even go through that so I'm thankful to have even gone through that um because it's uh it just it keeps bringing you back the Lord just keeps bringing you back bringing you back to your first love 
and you know it's just like a relationship with a parent <clears throat> when they give you gifts you know do you do you put all your love and care into those gifts and worship those gifts um or when they give you pet names uh do you put all your love into that or is it the person behind it that you truly care about so it's good to check our motives it's good to check um where our heart is and it's just kind of the same way with god the only difference is he's in the spirit and until we leave this world he is you know he's invisible to us physically Whereas our parents, you know, they walk in the room, we see them face to face. The Lord, we have that spiritual relationship with him until we can be with him again in heaven. So because of that, you have to keep your, your, um, you gotta keep your relationship tighter and you gotta just remember that we're humans and we can easily be, you know, swayed off the track. And, you know, it's so beautiful how God designed everything. Um, you know, his reasons for not being with us here physically, because, of course, he can't be around sin. He's too holy and pure, and we'd probably fry up <laughs> just at the sight of him. Um, but there's such a beauty in, in the faith walk that you can't get from any other walk you can't get from any other relationship from being around someone physically um there's something so beautiful about this journey with the lord with the stretching of faith with uh with the surrendering just the surrendering alone is just wow um and i'm just so thankful for that but i just wanted to come on and share this with you guys uh, because I, I see it a lot. I see it a lot. Um, people putting a lot of emphasis on labels, people putting a lot of emphasis on gifts and, uh, just remember, you know, two things, A, they could be taken away at any point or B, they could not be taken away and you could have them and put so much of your time and focus in them that you uh that you forget to go to the heart of the lord and be there with him and love him just for him and not for what he can give not focus on labels gosh i don't know about you guys but labels are just weird to me and i don't know if it's just since my hell experience i had with the knowings i was given but uh Labels are just so weird to me because there's something about labels that make you think that your identity is in them. Almost like this. Like there's some type of sorcery in it, some type of enchantment, some type of drink this, it tastes good, and this is the remedy type thing. So just be careful with that. Um... And that's all I really got for now. Alright, God bless. Bye, guys.